Welcome to Geek Buzz. I'm Nixie Pixel here to talk about nerdy stuff that tickles my neurotransmitters, like DIY sentry guns and vehicles that drive themselves. This episode of Geek Buzz is brought to you by Audible. Do you have a dusty webcam hidden away somewhere in your house? You could give chat roulette a try again. <laughs> or do something less traumatizing, such as building your own $100 sentry gun with motion detection. This nasty surprise is for invading zombies, aliens, or unwanted in-laws. I see you. Target lost. Hello. Your business is appreciated. And it needs just a few parts. A gun, paintball or the real deal, a computer, a webcam, some servo motors, and a steady tripod. The sentry gun can be activated as a fully autonomous machine, sensing, tracking, and even anticipating target movement all on its own. Kind of scary. You can even set safe fire zones and differentiate by color, so you can tell it to shoot people wearing only red shirts, if that's your thing. Come on, you know they die anyway. The best part is that the code used to create your own disgustingly overpowered home protection system is fully open source, so you can install, configure, and even modify it yourself, under the advisement of Rudolph Labs, of course, who gives you all the information and documentation for free. It will take a long time to put together, so don't expect just to whack away at it with a wrench for a few minutes and have it magically come together in front of you. Man, do I miss TF2. I swear it's like Automation Wednesday, but seriously, who says you have to be able to see in order to drive a car? Using Google Street View info, video cameras, laser and radar systems, a position sensor and artificial intelligence to pull it all together, Google's driverless car aims to prove that sight is overrated when it comes to driving. A recent video released by Google shows Steve, a legally blind man, 95% blind, operating the driverless car. Look, Ma, no. <laughs> no hands anywhere. No hands, no feet. No hands, no feet. No nothing. I love it. A handful of them have been built, and they've been able to do things like drive around Lake Tahoe and up and down the Pacific Coast Highway on their own. If you're familiar with the Pacific Coast Highway, it might even be better to have a non-distractive robot driver, as driving on it tends to go a little something like this. Ooh, look at the pretty elephant see. Ah, splash. Driverless cars have traveled over 200,000 miles now, with the occasional human intervention. So this seems to be something we'll see more of in the future. But in the meantime, I'll just be reminded of a scene from my favorite movie, Lilou Dallas Multipass. Now it's time to pay my bills. I actually much prefer having my addiction to sci-fi stated by sound waves. Really though, what passes the time better than listening to the unabridged version of Hitchhiker's Guide while you're stuck in traffic? Audible.com has the answer to the great question of life, the universe, and everything, as well as 100,000 plus titles sure to charm your cochleas. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash geekbuzz to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. After the huge security breach in the PSN network, I turned my PS3 into a glorified DVD player. Looks like Sony isn't the only privacy leaking culprit in the bunch. If you're looking to sell your Xbox, you'll probably not want to turn to eBay anytime soon. While researchers at Drexel University were creating a forensic model of the Xbox 360's hard drive structure, they discovered some disturbing information. Dr. Ashley Podrowski told Kotaku that Microsoft does a great job of protecting their proprietary information, but they don't do a great job of protecting the user's data. Researchers bought used Xboxes from a Microsoft-approved retailer, and with a little work, they were able to extract usernames, cities, profile information, and yes, even credit card numbers. Simply restoring the console to factory settings doesn't completely clean the data from its hard drives. And this isn't something new to criminals either. Dr. Podraski told Kotaku that experienced console hackers will take less time than the researchers did to get the data. She says, a lot of them already know how to do all this. Anyone can freely download a lot of this software, essentially pick up a discarded game console and have someone's identity. Of course, you could wipe the drives before you sell it. I'd suggest D-Band, which is a self-contained boot disk that will destroy bulk data pretty quickly. It works well for a lot of people looking to clean their hard disks of evident mm, mean information. 
But wait, should we even have to worry about wiping our data on our consoles before we sell them? There's an expectation with PCs, of course, but people buy consoles for a reason. Low maintenance and easy to use. The last thing I'd expect as a console user is that I'd have to use a boot and nuke program for my data. Shouldn't Microsoft protect our information? Let me know what you think in the comments below, and be sure to give that llama some love and subscribe. Talk nerdy to you later.